Welcome back to the Shut Up and Dill podcast. Hey guys. Hey. I'm one of your co-hosts, Nikki. I'm Vivi. And I'm Jimbo. Um, so we appreciate you guys listening. Yep. Um, and if you've listened to our most recent episodes, you will find we're trying to shorten them up. They were hitting it about, they kept getting longer and longer. Yes. So now we're Short trying to get them a little bit shorter. So we're hitting about 25 minutes right now. So our mm-hmm. goal is try to get down to 20. Ooh, mm-hmm. man, you are cutting us off. I yeah. know, I know. No, we are, we are cutting it off. So, um, so we are going to jump into a conversation today about tournaments. But before that, we're going to talk a little bit about our partners. So, Vivi. Yeah. So, yeah, we obviously have our longest running sponsor, which is 002. They are a pickleball tournament company. And um, if you go to pickleballbrackets.com, you can search up 002 to see all the tournaments they have coming up. Um, We have the Pickleland Indoor Open in uh, the summer and then the Dink and Slam near like the more fall season and really excited for those. Make sure to use our code DILL for your discount. Mm-hmm. That's and D-I-L-L. D-I-L-L. <laughs> and then one of our newest sponsors, Hands, um, Pickleball Gear and Equipment. They have paddles, bags, um, apparel. Um, we have some content coming up with them soon. So, yeah, we're very thankful for our sponsors. Yep. Yep. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have uh, Deal 10 uh, is a discount code yeah. for Hands Pickleball. For hands. Yeah. You can find their merchandise online, handspickleball.com. Yep. Uh, also, you can find them on social media with plenty of links to their uh, to their merchandise. Yes. yes. So, Hands Pickleball, um, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, maybe? I don't know um, about that. I'm not going to, yeah, sorry. I'm not going to go there. So. Oh, um, I have a question for y'all that we did not talk about before this, so okay. I apologize, but I'm going to pull it out and ask. So I know you and I briefly talked about this, but we have not. I want to come up with a name for our listeners, like a, you know. Dillies. Yeah, so <laughs> we we thought, or I thought dillers, like mm, like no, dealers. Like dealers, yeah. because yeah. it's poker, right? Dillers, mm-hmm. D-I-L-L-E-R-S. To the, the, deal ta- the dill table? The, Wait, what do you? No, no, the deal table. <laughs> the dealer table. <laughs> the dealer table. Um, so what do you, like, have silly any? Silly dillies. <laughs> Hi, silly dillies. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, any Diller. quick thoughts yeah, on? Dillers is good. Like, shut up and dill, shut up and deal, dill, dealers. You dealers. know, that definitely. Yeah, is. Yeah, I mean, dealers, dillies, and then, you know, our partners dealies. are, like, deal makers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the pickle makers. I, I don't know. Our pickles, our little picklers. <laughs> so, well, we need our listeners to tell us what yeah. do you want to be what called. Want, Is Dillers you? good? D I L L E R S? Or do you have a different or idea? Do you, have, do you like Dillies? D I L L I E S. Yeah, Dillies. Yep. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see what they say. Um, Okay, so this episode is about tournaments. We've been playing uh, a few tournaments, especially seeing as it's the beginning of the year. We usually play a lot during the summer and into the fall. Mm -hmm. Um, And we've seen a lot of different formats, but one format I see less and less is two out of three. I'm seeing... It's like an extinct... Thing. It is like an extinct thing right now, and it's going more into round-robin formats, uh, game to 15... Sometimes that leads into a two out of three draw. Yes. Sometimes it doesn't even lead to that. It's really the score and yeah. who wins it out. So mm-hmm. yeah, um, I don't know. How, yeah. How are y'all feeling about the fact that it really feels like most of the tournaments right now are round robin mm-hmm. and game to 15? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Well, I, I don't I, – I, for some reason, I don't play as well in the game to 15. I like a game to 11. I like the break in between the game and the adjustment in between the game rather than, you know, the switch sides at eight or have to take a timeout mm-hmm. and try to adjust. I like, I like adjusting between the games. I feel like um, game two is like a, it's like the second half, mm-hmm. you know, um, which could lead to the, you know, overtime. But, yeah. you know, it's, it's definitely a time to regroup and, you know, you and your partner, or if you're playing singles, like you can really reflect on, man, what did we do right? 
how did we win that, you know, mm-hmm. or like what did we, you know, what are they doing that we're not? Like, what, yeah. you know, and the game to 15, I feel like it's, you know, um, it's quick, you know, you really got to start off pretty hot. Um, I mean, there's room to come back. I mean, I, we've played, we've played draws with a game to one single game to 11 and that's, that's just, I mean, that's, well, yeah, that's usually uh, around weather and yeah, and companies. Yeah. Companies. Companies. <laughs> I don't. I missed something. Associations. It's, yeah. Oh, Leagues. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely prefer a game uh, two out of three to mm-hmm. eleven. Gives you time to adjust. Um, and also, I mean, it just it just lasts it lasts longer. It feels more like a match. Yeah, cons- You know, consolation or not consolation, but back draw. I get it. Game yeah. to 15. Yeah. Um, you know, you lose, that's just kind of how you have to deal with it the rest of the tournament. But <clears throat> I will say like middle matches, like even a bronze match, I've noticed bronze matches are going to games to 15. No. Man, give us a, give us a shot. Like we worked our way through a round Robin game to 15, like make it to a medal round two out of three, man, you know, mm. yeah. um, that's just the way I feel about it. But what, what really in, the words of Nikki, what really grinds my gears is a round robin without a bracket at the end of it. Okay. You know, yeah, like just a straight round. There round. is no build up, like there's no anticipation of a metal round. It's just okay, well let's Surprise. see where everybody landed. Yeah. yeah. Um you know, I mean no offense to anybody that's put one of those tournaments on, but I just you know, I like I think everybody out there is trying to play to get mm-hmm. into a metal match, so yeah. You know, if it is a round robin, then, you know, at, at least have, you know, a four to six team, yeah. you know, bracket at the end of it. Um, gee, also with these medal matches, like, and then they announce, like, we have a medal match on court number two, and then everyone comes and watches. Yeah. Isn't that an awesome feeling? You feel mm. like you're <laughs> a celebrity. And I think yeah. that's, you know, that's another part of medal matches that we all really like, but... Talking about the two out of three versus the one of 15, I think it has advantages for each. And that's like, if you come out swinging and you floor it through the fences, um, then you probably do very well in one one game to 15. Mm -hmm. But when you're two out of three games to 11, it's like for the really strategic and like game plan makers Mm-hmm. Um, and they do much better. So that's why, I mean, I I mean, I mean, like two out of three more, but yeah. I'm saying both of them have their advantages. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. So just from a, okay, from a player point of view, I understand why we get to a round robin because mm-hmm. we want to be able to play, um, or due to the cost of a tournament. Yeah. I know tournament directors really want you to be out there and play. Mm -hmm. But if we really do the math, let's say that we have a round robin, five teams. That's pretty typical. Five teams and a draw. Mm -hmm. In a pool. In a pool. Yeah. Yeah. Five teams in a pool. And usually the top two are moving on to some type of draw play. So there's three that are going to be disqualified in there. Um, Sometimes it's different. Sometimes Mm -hmm. it's more. um, But... Yeah, that's right. Top two, because you're playing for, oh, we've had it where it plays for gold and silver and then bronze, and there wasn't like a... Yeah, you got to have like, if there's five teams in draw, yeah, yeah, I mean, the best way to do that is truly just a round robin and go by points, like... Yeah, uh, like to get into the... Well, I mean, I don't know how you, I guess you could play five teams and then seed it, like one plays, one gets a buy, two plays five, three plays four, and... Oh, I'm talking about two different pools, and the top oh, yeah. two. Oh well, yeah, so if you got two pools of five, but yes. But let's say, okay, let's say I'm a either way. However, the tournament director does it. I'm in a pool of five, and I play each one of them one game to fifteen. I played four games, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Um, and it's to fifteen points, right? But same as the other tournament, if I'm in a draw and I play two games and lose two two matches and lose, but I had two out of three. I may play the same amount of games. I may play four games. If you if you if you're in a double elimination and you lose your first match, which was yeah. two out of three, if you go to that consolation match, you're playing one to fifteen. That's for the true. Most part. So you may play one less game. <clears throat> yeah. 
pretty yeah. much. Yeah. But you may have gone to three games in the first one. Right. And now you've played the same amount. Mm -hmm. it, really, you're shaving off one game, basically, or you're adding one game for that person. Mm -hmm. um, but you, you like also that. saw more variety. You know, you saw four yeah. different teams instead of two. Yeah. A lot of I just wonder that. if from yeah. the, like... I don't know. I wonder if maybe at kind of your 3-0, 3-5 levels, mm -hmm. like the round robins are fun. Mm -hmm. But in the 4-5, I think the, the goal there is really to come and try to – I mean, you've played a lot of variety to get to 4-5. Yeah. You've yeah. played a right. lot to right. get to 4-5 plus. You played a lot of variety. You probably hit quite often. Mm -hmm. um, so really the goal is to have really high-quality games. Yep. And I feel like the fifteen, the point to fifteen messes up the quality, um, because mm -hmm. even if you come out swinging, right, and you win the first game to eleven, you know that that they could come back and have a whole different plan yep. against you, mm -hmm. and now you're trying to react to a plan that they came up with. In a game to fifteen, they may not have enough time to come up with that plan, yep. and I may just plow through that and win. Mm -hmm. But if they really had that second to rest and say, "Hey, let's let's regroup," I think it makes a higher quality match for I me. So. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There's been plenty of times where you see a game or a match, you know, two out of three, and it's mm -hmm. eleven four one way, and then the next game it's eleven two. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then game three it's you know eleven yeah. nine twelve ten. You know, mm -hmm. it's yeah. just a game of adjustments and runs, yeah. and I think you see the best um, chess match when it's two out of three. Mm -hmm. That's just my personal opinion. I know I play much better when it's two. I feel like I play better when it's two out of three to 11. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I always knew that about myself in, in tennis, too. I can chuck away five games in, like, a second. I just – I cannot – I'm all squirrely in yeah. the beginning of a match. I'm just squirrely. Right. Um, and in a game to 15, I don't have enough time to get focused. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so it may be one-sided that I like two out of three. But I, I do like two out of three. I'm kind of a little bit tired of the game to 15. Yeah. Um, I do like the variety. I, I do like that. And that you pretty mm. much have a full day. Um, either way you cut it, you have quite a bit going on. But right. um, overall, I like the two out of three. Even if I lose out faster, mm -hmm. um, I think it's just a higher quality match. Yeah. Overall. Yep. What What do you think would happen if mm -hmm. in we didn't do one game to fifteen? We didn't do two out of three. We did one game to twenty one. Rally scoring. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like that or would you not like that? Be honest. I'm. Uh, I like rally scoring better. So, I mean, we've all said that, that mm -hmm. over the classic scoring or traditional, mm -hmm. we like rally scoring. So I'm not opposed to it um, because it also lets you be on your dominant side or your, your you know, your, your assigned side mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. more. So right. I, I'm not opposed to that. I don't know if we could test that somehow of, mm -hmm. you know, how would you, how would you, because I have not seen that yet yeah. where it's just one game yeah. to 21. Yeah, I know there was like talk about, you know, with Major League Pickball and, mm -hmm. you know, like the Tuesday nights at Dreamland, they would always do rally scoring, mm -hmm. um, like Tuesday night pickleball. Um, and they were talking about that being kind of the test run for okay. the the way that professional pickleball is shifting. And mm -hmm. uh, But I, I don't necessarily think that's the case anymore, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, MLP's kind of falling off. I agree. It's just been a while. They'll, they'll, they'll be back. They're, I know one's coming up. Yeah. I know there's one coming up. But, I mean, we're five months in. But I know the whole – anyways, let's not go down that tunnel of yeah. MLP, um, PPA. I, I, don't, I don't know about rally scoring um, 21. I do like mm -hmm. the team events. But if it's just a tournament, like mixed doubles, like rally scoring games 21 – you know, I don't know. I think that's part of the, the chess match is the stack and unwinding the stack and, mm -hmm. you know, exposing some of the weaknesses and, um, you know, where you do have to, you know, move from side to side or, you know, if if your partner can play left and you can play right and y'all can switch at any time and be just as comfortable, I mean, it gives you an advantage. I mean, but then you... I mean, I know in rally scoring you can switch whenever you want, and not when, but you can call a timeout and switch. 
Yeah. But, you know, you find those weaknesses, like those exact weaknesses. Yeah. Like when they're on the same side the whole time, Mm -hmm. you know, it's much easier to hit that shot. Yeah. Then, you know, with all that running around, it can obviously be very distracting Mm -hmm. and take away from your ability to do that shot. So, I mean, I, I like the idea of playing the same side the whole time. I think it's a good mid ground though, because you're saying basically one to fifteen saves a little bit of time. That's one of the reasons why mm-hmm. it happens in that player exposure of just getting variety, but um, saves a little bit of time. So one to twenty one might save a little bit of time, especially if you're going to three in two out of three in traditional. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's not as short as a one game to fifteen. Right. And rally scoring is an equalizer. I think that at any point you can earn a point. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's not like you get so far in a hole, like in traditional. 1 to 15, that's what's dangerous about it, is that if you get in a hole, it is extremely hard to come back. We're in rally scoring, every point counts. So yeah. you really can come back at any time, just string together three points. Yeah. And you're yeah. probably I back. I think we were it. down like 14 to 2 in one match. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. No. We came back I one? think you're wrong. I think it was 14 to 1. <laughs> it was really bad. It was really bad. I, I do remember that. And we won. It, I think they're playing pro now, though. So. They are, and we yes, I remember it very well. And we were down, and you were very upset, I and I was upset. very upset. Oh yeah, you were, but we were very upset about it. And then I was like, I'm yeah, okay. We just buckled it together. Yeah. And, so yeah. it it can happen in a game of fifteen, I guess is it my can point. Happen. But it it, I mean, you really have to be, um, you know, super committed to making adjustments and um, knowing that you know, seven or eight points is not out of reach. And, um, you know, so I don't know. It's, uh, it's tough. You know, I, I, I still feel like, you know, after, if I get beat 11, three in the first game, I still know, like I have a, I have a pretty, I have a chance. You yeah. know, I, I still have a chance. I'm sure it's tough for tournaments, especially cause there isn't a lot of venues with large space. Yeah. So I think that does play part of it is that you can sign up more people if you do 1 to 15, make more money yeah. uh, than you can saying, hey, I'm going to restrict. And I know you mentioned that of increase the cost and just restrict how many people can sign up, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But also, too, and we've touched on this and we, we are going to make a full episode on it. The cost is already high. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, in, in that particular tournament, that was a pretty fairly cheap tournament. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, increase the cost. Let us play two out of three. Um, kind of restrict the amount of people. But an average tournament's expensive. And if yep. you raise it anymore, um, I don't know how attractive that looks. Yeah. Cause it's it's yeah. expensive to go there. and. Yeah, I mean, you know. I don't know. Most tournaments I play nowadays are 100 bucks. I mean, that's still expensive, but yeah. it's not as expensive as – Mm-hmm. tournaments I used to play to play. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? it's not as expensive. It's still yeah. expensive. Yeah, 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 it is. An it expensive is. sport. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. any other thoughts? I'm pretty sure I got everything off my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? <laughs> what was the last tournament you played? Team team tournament, mm-hmm. team event? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, oh, yeah, the one that you won. You're a champion. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually retired after that. Like, <laughs> I got my gold medal. But they did, did. like as you, so zero zero two. They they announced a gold medal match. They make it. They yes. they make it. For everybody, you know, mm-hmm. everybody hears. Everybody wants to know. You don't you don't get that with the round robin. You don't know like your medal you match might that. actually be like the. <laughs> they don't give an f about you. Sorry. Uh, no PPA. You might be playing a gold medal match like. At the very back of the complex. Where they're, like, breaking down everything around you yes. while you're playing Oh, golf. my Your God. family has to, like, watch through the windscreen and, <laughs> like, you know? Like, I've, I've done it. I think my, my parents watched me one time at a PPA, like, in a gold. <laughs> like, and they were, like, you know, peeking through the little squares of the windscreen, yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And then, like, they have, like... Dylan Frazier and JW like walking behind you to get to their championship <laughs> court <laughs> during your gold match. <laughs> oh my god, what yeah. a mess! Yeah, you can just turn around and be like, "We're funding you guys." Like, yeah, like we fund what you, you get. Can you just watch for one segment, please? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got you got to know as an amateur, you're not going to play on center court. Like, it's it's not going to be that when you go to PBA. But yeah. at least, I mean, you know, at least uh, put us on a 
but. some sort of featured mm -hmm. some sort of featured court where yeah. if you do have family if you have friends that have been watching like all tournament or maybe friends were playing in the same tournament and they're done but they want to watch and support like don't make yeah. them look through a windscreen. I do remember though and this isn't PPA I don't it mid-south mm -hmm. let's yeah. do us mid -south. let's do SOPA yeah. yeah, so yeah. they did though. If you got, oh, yeah, that's an amateur yeah. tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they yeah, they did uh, when we played it. If you got to the in matches, you made it towards the center court. Yeah, I mean, it yeah. was the actually live. Yeah, it really was video nice streamed. Yeah, that yeah. was at the McKinney courts at McKinney. Yeah. yeah, that's a nice place. And yeah, you're right. I mean, they did have, um, mm -hmm. they had two like uh, metal show courts, show basically. Courts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And if that's anyone where I, knows, my paddle broke. Well, that's actually what I'm I about remember. to ask. Oh, okay. um, I was going to say, if anyone knows where you can find Usapa Streams, let us know in the comments so oh, we can yeah. see him throw his paddle. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't throw it. Throw it off the fence. It literally <laughs> broke in half. Like, he was so mad. Yeah, so, if, yeah, if you if you played the it just broke. It Usapa <laughs> Mid-South, I don't know when it was. Like it was 20, right after COVID. 2021, 2020. Yeah. No, so it might have been 2022. Let us know if you have mm. footage. Yeah. Find it. Yeah, it might have been 2022. Yeah. Maybe. I've, yeah. Maybe. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think it's, I think that's, is that not the tournament that we played that we were, like, I swear it's that same tournament that I got really upset in one of the other matches. Do you know what I'm talking about? Never mind. Never mind. I was really, really upset, and, you know, like, we used to do the Thumb Wars all the time, and you came over and played Thumb Wars with me. I think that's the same tournament. What? You don't remember that at all? I think it's the same tournament, because then I ended up correcting my behavior, and we made it to that match. Where he threw his paddle. Where his paddle broke. He, paddle broke. he threw, threw it, it in a match, match before, before that. Before. Yeah, he well, threw it in a match before that. Yeah, and then that one, it just decided to go away. The paddle was like, never mind. It was like a magic trick. <laughs> it really it, was. I just looked over there and no paddle. Yeah, y'all know that video of like <laughs> Zverev or someone who is hitting like a backhand, and as he hits the backhand, like his racket just snaps. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what, what happened to him. <sighs> well, that's what it was. Well, let us know, guys, to our, I don't know, dealers, deal Dillies, Dillies, Dillers. Yeah. But whatever you guys want to be named, let us know. But also let us know your opinion on tournament play. What have you found interesting? Mm -hmm. um, especially from different levels, we want to know. What do you find most yeah. interesting? You um, like one game to 15? Yeah. You like two out of three to 11? Yeah. Do you like the round robin, just straight points and mm -hmm. record? Yeah. Yeah. But do, you, do you like the surprise of yeah. the points and games? Also, do you like the announcement of – now on court number one, gold medal match, so and so, or do you like just to be tucked in the back corner where nobody knows yeah. you? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, let us know. Let us know on any of our social channels TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Um, you can also watch email our us. videos, email us, yeah, watch our videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, shutupanddill.com has all of the links, yes, to all of our sites. Everything. So, yep. yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for listening. Yep. Thanks, guys.